to you guys about a variety of different um, conversations dealing with black men in America. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of topics that we would like to shine a light on, especially with the situation with George Floyd and a lot of black men and black women that are facing police brutality uh, right now in 2020, um, especially within the last couple weeks. Um, so I'll be the moderator for this discussion. Um, why does America love our culture more than they love us as people, as black, ple black people? Wow. Always been taught that like black is beautiful and there's so much power within our history. Mm -hmm. And that's really why Europeans saw us as like so valuable because like they know that we know that we are really like the kings of this earth mm. so when you see that within somebody you become envious you know mm. if you were to see someone so great in, in someone so that envy is there and mm. Going deep. You, with that envy you want to suppress suppress their their naturalness and their and their natural beauty. It, it's like they talk about in the laws of power. It's it's a, it's a thing, you know. Like yeah. you want to put yourself ahead of them. Right. So I think that's where put that them at a disadvantage. At a disadvantage. So I think that's why that they love the black culture, which is what we create naturally as black people. Right. But they don't love us because they see the power that we hold. You right. know. Right. Well, they they don't want us to have that power. Yeah. And to realize it within ourselves. That's why. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's why they wanted to stop us from reading, you know, being yeah, reading right. We, on, we just on. brought that up. Yeah. 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 My yeah. gosh. Wow. Um, so I guess I got the mic now. That That's kind of hard to no, come. No, yeah. that was a great answer. That was very hey, deep. They love our culture because we have some type of swag to us that they, they idolize. And yeah. they look at, look at us as entertainers rather than, you know, or athletes rather than just black people. They only um, identify with the athletes or the the rappers and well, a lot of us are very very intelligent a lot have a lot to bring to the table as well so i i, I throw a little season in yeah, there season there's, there's some extra season <laughs> but um it's just crazy because it all goes back to you know slavery like he just said and how they saw something of value um you just said we weren't allowed to read because they knew the power that we had inside of us mm -hmm. um it's just crazy like we, we we make up most of the sports we bring in most of the money to like universities when we're athletes we bring in most of the money when it comes to entertainment right. and everybody like you said everybody wants to do the dances everybody wants to be black until it's time to be black be out here protesting yeah protest. yeah yeah they don't want to or, protest alongside or, with you yeah something that something rubs their, rub their skin yeah. the wrong way you know what right. i'm saying yeah. something that they something. don't identify with but like oh wow they that's can't. going on yeah. but let me make an excuse or why i can't involve myself in that yeah, yeah. and it's, it's just crazy because just we we are literally the culture since the beginning mm -hmm. and now so now that we move on from the slave times they sought us out as entertainers. They had blackface clubs. They had blackface parties because they thought we were funny from the beginning. So this is not nothing. This is nothing new. Right. They just see us as entertainment or something that they can grasp off of, something they could feed off of. Right. And not everybody. Off, yeah, not everybody's like that because right. you know I'm. You know, as, as somebody strong believer in faith, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. You know, once we enter that body with Christ, so colors there's no barrier. Right. But they just want to like feed off of the cultures, but. Mm -hmm. Culture vultures, you know what I mean? Cool. Uh, that was a great answer. That was great. That was thank really thank that was a great answer. More than enough season. Thank you. Yes, I don't I don't even say need to say anything. But I would like to say please like, subscribe, and leave comments because we would love to have feedback from you guys on on this topic, you know, on each question. Um, and, and we would love to know how you feel about this situation yeah. and how um, black men and black women. I feel like black women don't get that much, you know, press when it comes to yeah, social don't. injustices that, you mm -hmm. know, the Breonna Taylor, that situation, I don't know if you have heard that, anybody yeah. heard that story? Yeah. Um, I Six. think we should definitely hit on it because black women um, are very important to, you know, the black community. <laughs> without us, we whole, wouldn't be here. Bro, we no, wouldn't we be here without black, black, black women. So I think that is very important to, to bring up and have that conversation about, um, I don't know how you guys feel about that. Do you feel that there has been more 
I know that has been more press about George Floyd because of the the crazy situation and how we see it. We've seen it on video. Yeah. But with the Breonna Taylor situation, it's not on video, mm -hmm. but she was killed, and mm -hmm. they were out wrong cops. They were even they were all, all the way wrong. Mm -hmm. They killed her, and the, hus the her boyfriend is actually in jail right now through the situation, and he's and he didn't even he do anything. Get out. Yeah, he made a nine one one call mm -hmm. saying that you know my my girlfriend has been killed. Like mm -hmm. I don't know who broke into my house, and come to find out it's the police, and they are we're busting up his house. And he's getting arrested. Like he didn't do anything wrong. So it's a whole um, system. But why do you think that you know black women don't get the same you know publicity that black men do? And they they support us. Why do we feel like? Do you feel as in general? Do you feel that black men and black the black community gives enough support to black women and black women causes? Um, when it comes to those types of same situations, I could, I mean, I could, I could pop it off real quick. Um, well, first and foremost, my grandmother from my father's side, she's like, she's darker than you. Hey, she, probably, she probably has she, great melody. Hey, she's, and she's, shout out to the <laughs> black queens out there that's so that's rocking with dark skin. Yeah, yeah. So I've never like, this is, I never disrespected my own woman, you know, also having black men in our lives to show mm -hmm. us because. How many of us have, like, fortunately, the three of us have grown up with, you know, father figures in our lives. But yes. how many, Bless yeah, how many black men are, are out there that are just being indulged into media, indulged into music, indulged into things that aren't even real? Mm -hmm. And they listen to all these misconceptions and mm -hmm. it becomes their mindset because what you fill your mind with comes mm -hmm. into your heart and what's in your heart comes out of your mouth. Wow. So whatever you, whatever's in there is going gonna, is gonna to come out some way. So if you're getting fed negativity about your own woman constantly, 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 mm -hmm. how are you gonna feel about your own woman? Right. Yeah. And then are you really gonna respect her the yeah. way that she should be respected? And there's there's and nothing wrong with interracial marriages, relationships, yeah. but when you say that you favor another race more than what you are, you know that's disrespectful because you came from that. Right. That's where you come from. Yeah. And and I also um, Malcolm X said it. I can't quote it word for word, but he said the most disrespected and neglected person in the United States is the black woman. Mm. Yeah. Think about how they treated those the, the slaves, the the white slave master. They as if they wanted some, they was gonna get some regardless. Raping them, doing all kinds of stuff to them, and they would mutilate our men. They would they would ter you know they would mutilate their their privates so they couldn't even reproduce more black babies mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of things behind that because it goes back to the slavery part mm -hmm. just, just the respect and then there's a there's another stat that i saw that it's probably like 80 percent of black men are actually married to black women but the media it's probably 78 percent but the media doesn't even show that when you see couples in media athletes Singers, rappers, entertainers, whatever, they're with a foreign woman or a white woman. But they don't they don't yeah. show, they don't they don't highlight all the other black men, successful black men that are with our women. So it's, it has a lot to do with Big the culture. LeBron for, yeah, for yeah. Being, uh, great example. Great, great example. example. Um, D-Wade. Yes, yes. Um, I think that black love is great to see, you know. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think that it is very important to our community, for our kids to you know, be raised by black women and black men together. Um, mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. Yeah. But um, I, I don't, I don't have any issue with you know interracial. But I, I would love to see black love um, continue on because yeah. that's what that was the way you were made. Go ahead. So what was the initial question like? You know, do you feel um, like black women are? Yeah. Uh, well, the question was, do you feel that black women get enough publicity uh, when it comes to causes? Um, dealing with social justice. No! 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 That's good. They don't! Not enough, damn it! <laughs> what? I could really, like, I could go on a Bro, long team. Yeah. I, I could, I could no, go on a I used to keep long. it in there. Nah, yeah. Because well, I don't I, think I, I flinched. That was solid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to show that to my kids on that year, like, your father's solid. Yeah. Malcolm X quote is like how I feel about women uh, in the media, even in today's age. I mean, 
You know, you got the Kardashians. Mm. Who did they model their look after? They love black culture. Oh my. Literally, since we were brought over here, black women have been degraded, uh, disrespected, mm. um, and really just like not given the opportunity to succeed. In comparison to black men, in comparison to white women, in comparison to white men, of course. And it's starting to get to the point to where it's um, like almost comparable to Latino women too, you know? So it's like, I feel that us as, uh, us as black men, you know, we've got to, we've got to be there for our black women in every way possible because they're there for us, you know? Mm -hmm. Like back in the, in the Black Panther, when they were getting that started as a movement and also within the Fruit of Islam, Black women in those in those uh, in those organizations were the were really the reasons why they were able to be so successful. Black women were that helping not, with that's not talking about enough. Yeah. The the breakfasts and, and helping uh, get uh, kids educated yeah. uh, in the party is like black women are really the backbone to every movement that has been around and that has been uh, positive for black people. You know, yeah. like, so we gotta, we have to literally support them, love them, and do what we can for them as black men. And I, I took this uh, black woman course and it really opened my eyes up to, you know, how much us as men affect women. Right. And I remember the, and I remember- when we don't support them. And, right. Yeah, and when we don't support them. And, or when we maybe uh, favor them, favor something else in comparison to them and how it always affects them. I am Reggie Williams, AKA Retro with the Great. Follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, I'm Jerry Scipio, uh, fraternity brother of Reggie Williams, uh, my sins. You yourself. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Uh, I just want to hype him up on his YouTube, uh, but I do uh, have an Instagram. You guys can follow me at Jerry, uh, yes. uh, BX underscore. And I put uh, put some good content out on there. Yeah, some great, great information. Great, that's 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 Thank you. Every time, man. My name is Elijah Cohen Benson. Um, born and raised from the greatest city, Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Follow me on Instagram, Elijah C D underscore. Follow me on Twitter, E One I J A H underscore. Shout out to Reggie's YouTube. He's doing big. Shout things. out to Elijah's YouTube. I'm just trying to get my ways like this. Good stuff. This is some good this stuff. This is some great content yeah, yeah, yeah. that we just, you know, this conversation is something that we should all be having on a daily basis. You know, uh, I think it's important that we have these conversations. I think we get so um, caught up in social media and looking at social media all the time. And these things, these topics can be talked about and these things can be, you know, relay to other people to have these conversations. We can have these discussions where, you know, uh, we come together and we, we, we start something that has never been started before yeah. or has been started, but we're, we're making it even better, our idea. So um, uh, thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like, that comment, that subscribe button. We're gonna have more of these topics. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Thanks for having me. Yes, young Jared, yes. young Elijah. Man, y'all really did y'all thing, man. I, did. I am. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Just a little. Who's man's? Thank you all for watching this video and like listening to us discuss these various topics. There are topics that need to be discussed amongst more people. And we invite you guys to have your own discussions. Put out a video if you want to. Um, yeah. But just let's have the discussion of these topics. And with people that don't look like this. You right. know what I mean? It's so important. Yes. Right. We out of here. Peace! Hey, okay.